Hi friends! I promised to make Tesla Transformer in one of the previous videos. Ok, look here. In fact, it's not exactly Tesla Transformer, but Brovin's catcher. Here is the author, Vladimir Brovin and he is continues to explore the incredible possibilities of his devices. Brovin's catcher often confused with Tesla Transformer, but it is different things. Our version is powered directly from mains 220 volts and include powerful field effect transistor. This allows for great power compared with the classic low voltage Brovin's catcher. The circuit is simple, it includes induction coil and few other components. Let's look at the diagram in more detail. Circuit powered by 220 volts, then rectifier cuts off the bottom half wave of sine wave. Here we have small film capacitor. I must note that at first I used conventional film capacitors at 250 volts. Strange, but they are slightly heated, so I replaced on this. The capacitance is about 1 microfarad. Its value is not very critical and can vary by 30 or 40 percent. Next is the throttle. Without it, a huge current will go through the transistor and diode. They will burn. Choke is needed with an impedance of 30 to 60 ohms. I experimented with different throttles, including ones which to run an economy lamps. As a result, use of the AC winding of the transformer. Wire diameter is about 0.4 millimeters. The resistance a little less than needs. Despite the fact that the diode rectifier operates at the neckward frequency, it is better to put a fast diode with a reverse voltage of at least 600 volts. I used UF5408 with 3 ampere current. Do not skimp on the FAT and put at once IRFP460. Others as IRF740 or IRF840 will work too, but the effects will not be the same. The resistor R2 is 10 to 12 kilo ohms, 1 or 2 watts. Variable resistor is 10 to 12 kilo ohms, 1 watt. If you have multi turn variable resistor, it is best to put it. It makes easier to adjust the device. Here is a symmetric protective Zener diode, but it can be replaced by two conventional Zener diode connected in series. In this case, the voltage stabilization of each Zener diode should be from 6 to 12 volts. It is advisable to use 1 watt Zener. Now about the coil. For winding, I use wire from old transformers. The high voltage winding is wound on a PVC pipe with a diameter of 5 cm. Wire diameter is 0.29 mm, can be from 0.15 to 0.35 mm, optimally 0.2 mm. Wire from one reel wasn't enough and had to use the second. As a result, the coil has ducking point. That place filled with resin, I hope that doesn't break. The total number of turns of the secondary winding is 1150. Multiply this by the diameter of the wire and you will know how long is winding. And you can choose PVC pipe length. The coil is further covered with lacquer. Resin can be used too, but the varnish more convenient. The primary winding consists of six turns. It is desirable to use solid copper wire. It's easier to fix. Unfortunately, I haven't found this and had to take a solid aluminium wire with diameter of 4.5 cm. For the best effect, advise to stretch the wire to half of the high voltage winding. FAT must install on the radiator. Choke is also will warm, so I recommend installing the cooler for device. Because of the small number of components, no need to do PCB. I collected on the breadboard. By the way, I was asked how I painted breadboard in the previous video in the green. In fact, I covered it by green scotch. On the free end of the high voltage winding, you can attach some metal object for beauty. Adjustment is very simple. Slow rotate the variable resistor, achieving the longest flashes. In the following video, I'll make the box and do interesting experiments with Brovin's catcher. An interesting point. The work of catchers each explains own way. Brovin himself says that they are not complied with the generally accepted law of physics. Of course, not everyone agrees with him. Run device away from electrical appliances, especially digital technique. It can do interference at TV and radio devices. Its usual effect. The voltage on the winding can be up to 150 kilovolts, but due to the high frequency, it is not dangerous, since it passes over the skin surface. 
Although after these games, fingers has minor burns and skin will smells. Later, before the new year, I will make classic Tesla transformer using this coil. At the end, I want to say that the coil was wound entirely manually. It took about 5 hours. All necessary links you can find below the video, including the purchase of ready devices. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.